How are we doing guys? Welcome to another video with the boys in green today for the St. Patrick's Day player pick. Now, for some reason it's not actually showing me who's available, but we're going to go ahead and do it anyway. I think it's like a... Yeah, I can't see player pick. Anyway, we're going to go ahead and do it. I don't think it will, will it show... But anyway, it's one team of the week and an 85 rated squad. So, my inform, <clears throat> I've gone for Ruben Blanco, as I own him. He's not too expensive. Um, you will have to be careful with this. I'm on 78 chemistry and I do have quite a lot of loyalty. Uh, I've only had to buy one player for this, but you can probably get players like Ousmane Dembele on the wing. Uh, you could get a better player at right back, 83 rated from the league, or you can get a better centre back, blah, blah, blah. But anyway, like I said, Ruben Blanco at right back. We have Miranda at right back with Laporte playing centre back. Pepe and Alex Tellez are playing in the two positions on the left side. We then have Casemiro, Fakir, Vidal. We have Koke, Borja Iglesias, and we have Neto. Like I said, I'm three chemistry over, but I do have quite a bit of loyalty. Best bet here, potentially change up something like the left back and centre back. You could use maybe Nacho, because uh, he'd obviously keep on the link with that league. Um, pretty straightforward, though. Pretty easy for the St. Patrick's Day player pick. So we are going to go ahead and grab that now. One St. Patrick's Day player pick. And here we go. Let's have a little looky. See what we've got a choice between. It is Shane Long, Seamus Coleman, or Aidan McGeady. Now, who do you go for to link? Oh, my goodness me. Shane Long is high, high work rate. Five foot ten, four star skills. Only a three star week foot. Not ideal. Rapid as anything. Very good jumping. Great aggression as well, actually. And his heading's really good. I know heading's not quite the thing this year, but it is still really, really good. His dribbling's actually pretty decent. 87 finish with 83 composure is okay. His long passing's pretty poor. You'd probably want to get maybe a hunter on him just to get that finishing up as well and a bit of extra pace. 81 stamina is decent for a striker. Great balance, great reactions. Uh, like I said, his dribbling's pretty good. Seamus Coleman at right back. This is a bit annoying because obviously we had uh, Bellerin this week as well. So again, absolutely rapid. Uh, he got really good passing. Strength is pretty pants. Only 71. Um, his dribbling's fairly good. His defending is okay. I'd probably say you want a sentinel. Probably because he's got quite a lot of pace anyway. I'd probably say a sentinel. Now, McGeady is quite a good fun card if you are a good skiller. Five-star skill moves. Four-star weak foot high medium. Maybe a really good super sub. 99 agility. Not a lot of stamina. He has got fairly good strength, to be fair. 90 aggression. He's rapid. Great at skills. And he's agile. Reactions are a bit slow. Great long shots as well. It's actually a really tough one, but as a Reading fan, I'm going to go with Shane Long because he did used to play for us. Let me know if this has helped you out, guys, with the SBCs. Like I say, you can do other uh, teams with it if you want to very, very easily. Use some of the ratings that I've used to branch them all together. That is one solution. There will be many out there. There might be more expensive ones. There might be cheaper ones, but that's my solution. Hopefully, you enjoy it. Let me know who you take from the player pick, and I'll see you next time.